Ya. Yeah. Qua. Said, have, like, so, do, some, come, little, one, were, there, what, when, out, oh, Mr. Mrs. People there called looked asked could. Hi everyone and welcome back to your last session of phase 5a. Today we're going to be looking at our final split digraph. So the digraph we're going to be splitting today is this one. I wonder if you can remember what sound that graphene makes. That is the E sound. So well done to you for remembering that. Splitting that today, it looks like this. E. So it still makes that exact same phoneme, but we have split that up now. Just to remind you, we can only ever put one letter in between those. So do make sure you're remembering that today. Let's have a go at blending some words together. This one is X T R E M X T R E M Extreme Extreme. If something is to the extreme, it's going to be to the max. St -e -v. Steve Steve. So Steve is a name, that's why it's got a capital letter. You might know somebody called Steve. Oh, we've got another name. P eat Pete. So you might know a Pete or a Peter. Well done for blending that. Right, let's have a look at some words together then. So my three real words today over here, see if you can sound these out with me. I've got D, E, O, Del, eat, delete. So if I delete something, that means that it's gone away. I've erased it. My next word is these. Like these are mine. Lastly, s, w, e, d, swede. So swede is a root vegetable. You might have had it before. Okay, my pseudo word, p, e, d, peed, g, eem, geem, or it might have been pronounced jeem, f, o, een, fleen. Well done to you. Right, pause the screen and have a read of our sentence then.
Okay, my first word is the tricky word, the. Then we've got the word theme. Theme. The theme is this. Eve, Eve, n, i, n, evening, evening. The theme this evening is, is, k, o, m, p, o, eat, complete. So it's finished. The theme this evening is complete. Well done to you if you read that. Okay. First one I want you to have a go at spelling then is the word gene, gene. Now be very careful with this one, okay? Because it's not a j, it's not a j at the beginning. It does have a g, so be careful. We've got j, e, n, gene. Three phonemes, but it will take up four boxes, remember? Because we've got a split sound. So like I just said, it does start with a G, J. We've got our split E, E, N. Was the letter in the middle? J, E, N, Jean. Well done to you if you got that one right. My next one then is the word even. Even. Okay, so as in the opposite of odd. E, v, n. Do that again. E, v, n. Have a go at doing that now. Even. Okay, let's look together. So I've got my E sound. E. I've split those up. V goes in the middle. So E, v, n. Even. Well done to you. Okay, let's have a look at my sentence today then. So, count the words with me. Steve and Pete were both rude. Have a listen again. Steve and Pete were both rude. So you've got two split E words. You've got Steve and you've got Pete. And I also want you to think back for the word rude. I want you to be thinking of that split U and split U that we looked at last time. Steve and Pete were both rude. Have a go at that, doing that now. Right, so my first word then was the word Steve. So it's a capital letter and it's capital letter for the start of my sentence and it's his name. So I'm going to have a capital S for that one. St. I've got a split E now. Steve. So there's my split. Steve. A. And. And. Then I had Pete. But don't forget, it's a nice tall P that's standing on the line because it's his name. Steve and Pete, split E. Steve and Pete. We've got the tricky word, were. Were. I wonder if you remembered how to spell this one. Then we had both. B. O. Both. Well done. And then for the word rude, I said to try and remember that split U that we did last time. So it was R, U, D. Steve and Pete were both rude. Full stop. Well done to you if you got that right. So we have come to the end of phase 5A now. So like I've said before, if you need to go back and re-go over any of those sounds, do please feel free to do that until you are really confident with all of them. If you feel like you are ready, you can now move on to phase 5B, where we will be looking at alternative pronunciation. Well done to you. Keep practicing those sounds and I will see you again very soon.